What's going on guys, Big VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be looking at Pinball and the newest edition, Ice Cold Beer. Uh, so again, on this one today, we're gonna to look at a couple things. We'll look at the virtual pinball stuff. So I got Pinball FX2, the updated FX3, the updated Pinball Arcade, Future Pinball, and also Visual Pinball. Uh, so my Visual Pinball is running VPX tables. That's the newest um, addition to Visual Pinball. Before it was eight and nine. Now we are up to Visual Pinball X, which is 10. Um, but before we get into pinball, I do wanna show off this pretty cool um, game. It's called Ice Cold Beer. Uh, it's not new. Um, it's been out for a, a couple years now. I just never really had it on my, my drives. Um, but it's a really cool game. I definitely want to show it off. It utilizes the two joysticks. Uh, this game you can actually find in bars. Um, it's a very competitive game. Basically, again, you can see here we have our rod. And using the joysticks, you are controlling the left and right side. And you basically want to get the marble inside of the uh, blinking hole. Um, so it's pretty cool. There's two games in this. It's Ice Cold Beer and Zeke's Peak. So real quick, let's just look at the front end. <laughs> So we enter in, and again we have ice cold beer, and we have Zeke's Peak. Both, you know, really the same concept of games. Zeke's Peak is a little bit difficult, aside from ice cold beer. So I'm going to launch ice cold beer. Uh, so this is cool. Again, this is literally using, utilizing the joysticks, and it's just like an arcade game, so we have to put our coin in. We press start. And you could change settings on this, really the difficulty level, and after like 2,000 points, you get a free extra marble, extra ball. So again, this one, Ice Cold Beer, is much easier than Zeke's Peak. I'll play both of them, but again, as you can see, oh, 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 oh. oh no! <laughs> yeah. So again, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty cool game. I play with my wife. Like it's a very hand-eye coordinated game. Uh, it also gets very competitive. So the longer you take, the lower the score goes. There you go. And it's cool, it has to be pretty precise. It's not like, you know, it would just go along the edge of it. You actually have to get it at the right spot, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna take this to the right. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so again, you can basically press tab to adjust like the difficulty on it. Change controls, you don't really have to. And this is really set. I'm going for that again. I can't believe I missed that. Cool. So now what's unique about this game, uh, and again, hyperspin and how difficult it is, this game utilizes the escape key to shut off the game, but that also confused hyperspin, and basically knowing hyperspin, I'm not gonna call myself an expert on hyperspin, but I definitely know the ins and outs of it. Uh, basically have to do a couple of configurations and you get it. So right now, if I hold escape, I actually quit my game. And what would happen is that it would actually bring it back to the front end. And then you would hear the game in the background because the game is not fully exited. So again, I it's all set. I have it all set. Now we're back to our front end. A lot of Zeke's Peak. Again, I, I just know the ins and outs of hyperspin. I, I don't want to showboat it, but this is stuff, again, you got to test, you got to sit and test. So this is Zeke's Peak. This is, for some reason, more difficult um, than uh, uh, Ice Cold Beer that we played. But same concept, we put our coins in, we press start. So again, it's a really cool game. This one's a little bit more difficult. Um, uh, but again, just going through some testing. A uh, unique thing about this specific game, Zeke's Peak, um, I would configure the buttons, or I should say the button assignments for the joysticks, and it would actually erase 
Um, so right now I got it perfectly fine. I just say that so you know people understand the hassle when it comes to hyper spin and making all the games work. Um, this level three always kicked my butt. Let's see. Yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. So again, it's just it's just really cool. I mean, I've never seen this uh, before. I've seen like videos on like TikTok and YouTube of the real like actual game in bars, and uh, damn it, <laughs> and it's just a really cool concept. It's pretty amazing what emulation can do. Uh, but again, this is new to my wheel. It's not that big of a game. It's actually a very low um, low megabyte uh, game, so. It doesn't take up that much room. It's just a really cool addition to have. So as you can see right now, as I was saying before about exiting, I'm in the game, right? If I press escape right now, it cuts me out of my game. But again, before hyperspin, it would come back to hyperspin, but this game was still in the background. So again, it's a big deal to always test. Uh, so again, I'm gonna escape out again. Now I'm in hyperspin, I'm gonna bring it back. And now we're back on the main wheel. Uh, so now, again, we'll go over a couple of things. So Pimble FX2 is not updated, meaning that this game is about maybe three years old. Um, so I do have the current version of that. I won't do FX2, I'd rather play FX3. So I'm gonna press enter. And the way I have my system set up for Hyperspin is that that launches an executable file. So you literally saw a CMD, and basically pressing any of the buttons in the front, like escape, it doesn't do anything. Um, Pimble FX3 is totally, runnable with just arcade buttons you don't need a mouse so i'm basically pressing enter on the the face here i could always go left and right so i can press no thanks and as you can see i can literally utilize everything here so i'm going to go into single player and the big thing about the updated one is that this does have the williams tables and as you can see we are pretty updated on this jurassic park I believe it's Williams and Bally. Um, I think Bally was on my, my pinball arcade. I'm drawing a blank right now. But again, this is updated. Uh, let's launch one of these Williams tables because it's it's the old school table with a little bit of pinball, uh, with a little bit of uh, few, uh, it's like the old school pinball table, but with a little bit of the pinball FX flair to it. Um, do, uh, I'm trying to do one that I haven't done in a while or I've never really actually done ever um, Medieval Madness Let's do Attack from Mars So again, I'm literally pressing the enter button that's here. It literally says go for Eugene's table so Single player and hot seat I basically have the go button also set to the plunger so I can skip this. Again, it's just like as if you were kind of at a real pinball table, so. And again, I'm using these side buttons here. That was horrible. Uh, I do have, I forget, yeah, button two right here changes the view. So as you can see, we can, you know, follow the ball. So if I launch the ball right now, Again, I love where I put the pinball flippers on the side. It's literally in a perfect spot. My wrists are, are literally hanging on the edge. It's just such a great spot for where I put it. full table they move the DMD up top so again it's really cool so I have my red button here is escape it's literally the escape key so now I'm able to kind of 
exit out. Single player and I could go escape, bring it back, escape, bring it back, and then now we could play a different game. So um, I'd rather play. Now the big thing that some people do get confused is that Pinball FX2 has some more tables than Pinball FX3. A lot of these were ported from Pinball FX2, but like for example, like FX3 doesn't have like the Champions Club. Um, it was a soccer uh, pinball table, so you won't find that on FX3. Uh, so that's why I do keep both. You have FX2 and FX3. So for right now, um, I want to do a one like I, I haven't really done. Let's try this Jaws one. Or Jurassic Park. Should I do Jurassic Park? I'll try Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, Pinball Mayhem. Single play. I'm gonna bump up the volume. All right, now you go in nice and slow. Slip past those one of you. Bring anything even remotely resembling a human creature back to the mainland. I understood. So I could also game paused. I could also pause if I wanted to go like take a bathroom break. I'm literally doing that so I could check the camera out. Make sure this is getting a good angle. Yes. So resume. Give me a little countdown. That's an FX3, that's a specific game FX3 actually made. So as you can see, it's more like graphic intense. There's a bunch of dinosaurs on the table 
Uh, it's pretty cool. Like I said, the cool thing is that we are literally utilizing all arcade buttons to navigate this menu here. So, really cool stuff. Again, this is Pinball FX3. Main menu. So now again, I have to exit out of this as an actual PC game. So I would have to basically go to that power button. I press enter and enter again to exit. And now we are back on Pinball FX3. I'm gonna launch Pinball FX2 just real quick. Just so you can kind of see again, mo many of the tables are on from FX2 go to FX3. They were ported over. Uh, but again, there are some tables that are not there. So like we definitely saw like the Skyrim, we saw EVP, Family Guy, most of the Star Wars, most of the Marvel stuff. But like this wasn't there. This football one wasn't there. I'm not too sure about like the Plants vs. Zombies. I don't really remember. Um, but definitely I know for sure that this football one wasn't there. So luckily FX2 and FX3 doesn't take up too much space on the hard drives. Um, but as you can see, it's the same exact concept. You could play the games and such. So I'm not gonna bore you too much on the FX2 and 3. Definitely great pinball games though. Let's take a look at the pinball arcade. Uh, this I just updated. Um, a lot of new stuff going on on this. I like the song that this plays. <laughs> so again, I'm utilizing the arcade sticks to control. This was a pain in the ass to set up. It basically thinks that there's an Xbox controller. Um, so real quick, I'll go to arcade and we can see all the tables here. I think there's about 80 tables. But what's cool about this company is that they took current tables and basically made it virtual. I like the song in the background. Um, I'm just gonna lower it. Uh, the most shocking one to me that I played, and you just saw it on my recently played list, was Ghostbusters. They have the Ghostbusters pinball table on this. So again, this game system, this type of company basically took actual uh, pinball tables and kind of, you know, digitized it. So, um, but very good detail. Again, I was very shocked when I was playing the Ghostbusters one. It's in alphabetical order. I will launch the Ghostbusters one. So we have here Ghostbusters Premium. So I'll press enter. And I'll press enter. You can even like pick your ball if you want. Let's go green for the Slimer. So same concept again, using the, to the Ghostbusters enter case. button. The green is my plunger and my flipper is here. So we are even able to pick a couple of things. So I'm gonna just leave that as that and here we go. Choose your skill shot. Again, this is the actual pinball table. You will literally see the Slimer in a real pinball table. Again, amazing how they got this to work. If I press escape, um, I don't want to pause it like that, but I do want to show, again, same thing with the camera angles. So resuming in three, two, one, I already lost my ball. So button two, you can see right here, there's a little kind of camera thing. So let's do camera two. Pump the volume. Oh. <laughs> DMD's nice. Again, awesome table. We're gonna cut that only because it's playing the actual theme song. I don't want to get demonetized. So let's exit this one. We're gonna press yes. So we're gonna ha have it set up so that you use the arcade sticks to literally navigate the screen here. So like up top here is to go back. I like this little intro song. It's a very catchy song. ACDC, another table. Again, when I originally had this game, it only had like maybe 10 tables and then they did an update and it's just very shocking on this update. Um, I want to play a table that I've never personally played before. We got Monster Bash. 
Let's see. Ripley's. Scared stiff. Teeth off. Big Buck Hunter, that's an actual arcade game. Let's see. Mustang, Party Zone, Pinbot. I wonder if that's right of Pinbot. Um, alright. Let's do uh, Medieval Madness. Welcome to my realm. So, Sandy, you can pick the ball. I am Merlin, why the gold? Listen up to what you're told. Again. I feel like it's a perfect place where I put these buttons, it's perfect. So, we literally got hits going on, DMD going on. And I have tilt set for the joystick. Same thing for Pinball FX, the tilt is the joystick. So, left tilt, right tilt. There we go. It's actually very convenient where this joystick is. I could still have my button on the arcade stick and still tilt, so it's pretty cool. Again, it's not like the real pinball table where you could shake the cabinet. Um, that is going on the virtual pinball I'm actually gonna be doing, but for an arcade bar top, this is the best we got as far as the joystick. So it's really cool, I got DMD going. I was very shocked uh, to discover the update on this game. I didn't like the first one, like it just wasn't, I, didn't, I wasn't a fan of it, but seeing the update on this, it was very shocking. Multiple. Got a multiple going on, let's do it. Oh, I already lost one. That always happens. <laughs> uh, but there you guys have it, Pinball Arcade, Pinball FX 2 and 3. Same thing again, utilizing no mouse and keyboard on this. That was the main objective. I'm gonna press exit on that. I could press up here, so I need to bring my mouse up here. Again, in reality with this game, it thinks that there's an Xbox 360 controller communicating with it. So I got my power here. Are you sure you want to exit? So I could do yes or no. I do need to do yes, and there we go. Okay guys, so next up I wanna show off the future pinball and the visual pinball. Uh, just make a couple of statements. Uh, so again, visual pinball, for example, this is running VPX. And in all honesty, when I was making this, it's also when I was, and I still am, I'm making my virtual pinball uh, drive and virtual pinball table. Um, so in all honesty, this right now, the game count on the visual pinball alone is 689. Um, basically what I wanna say is that it's not gonna launch all 689. I have not tested all 689. I personally just downloaded one big ROM pack, put them in, and then, you know, I've played a couple of them, but there are a couple of issues, meaning in the virtual pinball world, there's a program called Dolphlinks and there's a program called uh, Ultra DMD. These are basically controllers and such that talk to an actual virtual pinball cabinet. So sometimes when you do launch a game, depending on the game, it might want to look for this Dofflings controller or it might want to look for this Ultra DMD. So just keeping that in mind. But uh, in all honesty, most of these tables do launch. I was just playing the Simpsons pinball party. Um, Keep in mind with these also, these are actual remakes, so an actual pinball table converted into digital, 
And some of these are also like fan-made stuff, kind of just random tables that people just sit and make. So uh, 689 tables, you will see the same duplicate tables from here also on future pinball. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's just, again, it's two different total softwares. Um, I'm gonna load up one. Let's just see how one goes. Um, ooh, interesting. WWF Royal Rumble. This is an actual pinball table. So I'm gonna press enter. I pressed it one time, and as you can see here, like my bottom stopped. You might get this kind of notice, just let it go. Again, I'm not doing anything. I'm not pressing anything. Just let the system do its thing. Royal Rumble. So we booted, this is good. So the big thing that's unique here is that we do have a DMD here. Um, you could always resize it, but it affects the other games, uh, the other table. So if you take your mouse, uh, basically you just set it one time. You could literally click and drag it. But if you right click, you could do show window border, and then now you could actually make it any size you want. And now we're just gonna click back on the table, and now we're back. So now the DMD is big, and honestly when you do reboot or reload the game, it will come back to that. The so insert that coins. Again, I got my plunger here. This type of system does not have different views. Um, the only different view would be full screen, but that's a whole different ROM. So the views don't work, the nudges work, and basically our pinball flippers, and the, uh, ent the enter button for the plunger. Bump the volume. Watch your back! Oh, I just missed that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So again, I can hold down the plunger. Oh, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One more. Come on. Get to the other end. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. right down the pipe. So again, as far as like input lag, there's not much. I mean, definitely when I push the button, the plunger works, so there's no input lag to worry about. But definitely very cool stuff. So this again, WWF Royal Rumble VPX. So you could definitely tell, just like the graphics here, compared to like VP8 and 9, I mean, they've done amazing work with this emulation. So this right here works off of the escape key. So if I press escape, it literally brings me back to our hyperspin wheel. Uh, we'll do another one. So you can see here, like, see those ACDC knockoffs and such. I mean, again, people literally sat and redid it. We could hold down on the joystick. I always am a big fan, and this is the table I'm going to be mimicking for my virtual pinball table. And that is going to be the Simpsons Pinball Party. So I don't know if it's under the T or the S, so let's see. And the VPX version of it is amazing. It's definitely a very cool table. Um, I also will show you one that kind of gives a controller thing to it. So it's not under the, so it must be Simpsons Pinball. Spider-Man, South Park, Smurfs, did I miss it? Here we go. So the Simpsons Pinball Party, amazing table. I love this table and again, I'm gonna be doing my virtual pinball table based on this. So as you can see, I pressed enter. Basically the screen doesn't freeze, it's just loading up. I always do like that it shows that so you know that there is something going on in the background. So again, we have our DMD here. You could right click on it and edit it. When you are done editing it though, so we could do it real quick. 
so that you can make this big. When you are done, I'm not right clicking anything, just be sure to click back on the table. This way now you're back on the table. And now. Must you always be so good? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was just so bad of me. But definitely, just look at the graphics on this. I mean, I've seen VP8 and 9. I definitely love how this is. Oh, the so same thing. You could always tilt. I should have utilized the tilt on that. This one didn't work for me, so I'm gonna just show you real quick what happens um, if you do get the controller issue. Uh, basically, if I press enter on this. So as you can see here, we have here, see object require controller. It's literally looking for this B2S thing. Uh, so a couple things happens when this happens. Um, so now you have to grab your mouse, you just press okay on this. If you can find your mouse, there it is. Press okay. You just keep, or even if you want, you press enter on the on the keyboard. Uh, but basically, if you just kind of, let's okay that, I'm gonna exit this. The only issue right now is that VPX is still open in the background. So if I hit the Windows key, I can literally see at the bottom, VPX is here. So I just have to right click and close this, and now we're back. Um, so we could try a different one. Let's try like South Park. So again, see, we got the freeze, that's good. Let it do its thing. Cool, so we got another one that loaded. And then again, as you can see, the DMD is up here. So now what's unique about these tables, and again, this is something that has to always be set, uh, but these tables actually act as real pinball tables. Um, so what's unique about this is that Sometimes the volume might be low, so you have to actually press, I think it's either eight or nine. Yeah, see, I have here, when I press the number nine, um, let me see. Again, it's just something you have to learn with it. Let's see, so seven is like the service button. See, I just initiated the service button. So it's like actual button that's inside the actual pinball table. Um, eight and nine uh, goes left and right, and then seven is to enter. I forgot which one we're gonna see right now is to raise the volume. So I'm gonna go to quit. That's good, dude. Just calm down. So seven again is our service key. Yeah, you like to shut my So I keep lowering it. There we go, number eight. And now the table now. The volume is right on this. So again, it's just something that you might have to do, but once you get it, 
And what's cool is that once you do it one time, it will save it. So now this table, the volume will be saved. You can even go into like settings and adjust, you know, if you don't want any foul language and such. Life isn't fair, kiddo. Get used to it. So now this table right now might actually be set to family mode because it doesn't curse. Let's see if it curses. Ready, So now I can press seven. It'll actually bring up the service menu. And if you do an actual Google search, there might be a way to actually enable a couple of things. So for example, I know this, the Sopranos pinball table, um, you were actually able to um, put it to mature mode, meaning that the cursing was enabled. So let's just see if this has anything. Sega adjustments, South Park adjustments, extra ball. Oh, I just missed it. I think I said that. So adult speech enabled, yes. Yeah, so that's it's already set. So again, it's just it's just cool. You could literally see like how that's detailed just calm down. this emulation is. So if you're done, you escape out, and you're back onto hyperspin. <laughs> Alright guys, so next up we're going to talk about uh, Future Pinball. Uh, so in all honesty, there are tables from Visual Pinball that are also the same in Future Pinball. The big thing to understand though is that these are two totally separate ROMs, two totally separate emulators. So some people do like Future Pinball over Visual Pinball. Me personally, I do like Visual Pinball over Future Pinball. It's just Visual Pinball right now is um, always being updated and such and always being worked on. So some games that might not launch in Visual Pinball might launch in Future Pinball. Just keep that in mind. But the big thing to understand with these tables is that there are like real actual table recreations, recreations I should say. And then there's like just people made their own table. Um, you know, just keep that in mind. So for example here, like we have a Sons of Anarchy table. Um, this uh, table, we did try it in um, VPX and it didn't launch. Uh, so we could try this, but just on that video alone, I don't think it looks like Sons of Anarchy, but let's just see what happens. So one button, you can see Future Pinball. There's a little screen here, let it do its thing. The big thing about this system is that there's so many different versions. You're gonna see like um, Z uh, Physics Ultimate version. There's just so many things. This, I don't think is the Sons of Anarchy table, but. Welcome to the Morning Star. So this one actually gave me a script error right here. I'm out. So this I'm gonna exit out. That's the bad table. And it's also a very user created table, I should say. So uh, we could definitely ignore that. Uh, same thing here, see like Animaniacs, this is a user created table. Um, again, let's try a real table though. Um, you know what's very popular, I remember back in the day remembering, is that Batman. Yeah, there was a couple of good Batman versions. Um, Joker edition. Let's try to run one of these Batman. So let's do the regular Dark Knight. I remember when Future Pinball first came out, this was like a big deal. Um, whoever recreated it, it was amazing emulation. So let's just see how this runs. 
you can see here, see like Ultra Edition, Slam Tilt. That's a very popular person that makes these tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see like emulation on this there's like a sound effect that's going nuts here it's just whoever created the table once you launch it though it does stop it sounds as if it's a kind of a sound effect where the ball kind of hits the wall I guess uh, again not all this emulation is perfect this is a user created thing so you can see a launch ball and then we're back <laughs> So when you're done playing, you escape. Once you press escape, you'll be back on the front end. Again, a lot of a lot of tables. Like I'm telling you, there's just so many tables. Um, growing up, I played a Rocky and Bullwinkle game. Let's see if this has it. Elemental PQR. <laughs> I remember it was like maybe the Rocky. Might be also in VPX. Let's try a different game. Rocky. That's an actual table, I believe. Let's try this one real quick. Let's see what happens. So like I said, I don't know if this is the actual Gotli version, um, but damn, this one's kind of boring. <laughs> so yes, Rocky, Dole, let's exit out. Let's try a different game real quick. Again, a lot of like user created ones. Some of them are cool for the kids, like this, you know, Nickelodeon, SpongeBob, and stuff. Some of it are real remakes. Uh, let's see this Street Fighter 2. And there was an actual Street Fighter 2 pinball table. Let's see how this one reacts.
So like this is just a recreated, you could just, the music's off, the sound effects are off. Again, a big reason why I'm not personally a fan of future pinball, but uh, just something to think about. I'm gonna go over some troubleshooting stuff. Uh, this stuff is very easy to go. Um, I'm gonna load up a table real quick. Um, some people do like to hear this, because again, it's, it's, it's cool to know how in-depth I know it. So, future pinball, um, sometimes it loses focus, meaning like you would try to press the coin button and nothing would happen. So, what I did basically now is that I have coin button right here set to a left button mouse click. So you're gonna see real quick, let's see what's gonna happen here. You might see the screen flash real quick, let's see. Yes, you see that? Basically now I'm back focused on Future Pinball and now my coins work. So um, I just fixed that. It's just, you know, again, so in depth as far as stuff like that. Um, last thing, if you ever, you know, let's say you ever get stuck, let's say the system ever kind of glitches out, you just press the Windows key. As for an example on this one here, the Windows key is ignored. So you just kind of escape out. And the big thing is that you want to press Windows. And when you press the Windows key, you might see your program here. You might see like the visual pinball or the future pinball table here. You just kind of right click on it and escape. But also another thing is that you do want to go to the system tray here. And if you ever see an orange circle here, you just want to right click on it and then close it. Uh, that's the um, rocket launcher UI still thinking the program is enabled. Um, I haven't seen it happen in a long time ever since I redid the whole drive. Uh, but again, it's just something to kind of, you know, know just in case. So let's come back. I do want to see actually, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to set it off on the visual pinball. So I'm going to right now go to the Sons of Anarchy, which I know doesn't work. I'm gonna just launch it just so I can show you real quick the um, the uh, rocket launcher UI thing. So again, we are frozen here, which is okay. But again, we have the script error. So again, I'm gonna have my keyboard handy. You basically need to find your mouse. You just kind of give it a wiggle. You know, I can see it here. I now need to aim for the script error, so you can see it here. We're gonna press OK. We'll press OK. We're gonna escape. When I press exit it comes back to hyperspin. The big issue here is that it can't launch a game because in all honesty, there's two things going on. If I hit the Windows key, VPX is still launched and hyperspin will not launch multiple um, programs. So you have to exit this program. So we could hover over and press X or just right click and close the window. But Let's just see if it's happening again. You might have done that, but Rocket Launcher still assumes that it's open. You hit the Windows key again. You're gonna go right here to the system tray and it's not here, that's good. So normally there's an orange Rocket Launcher um, UI thing. You just kind of right click on it and then it will say just exit or um, terminate. So that's all you gotta do. In all honesty, that's basically the only stuff that you will see. Pinball is set. I mean, again, you're talking over 1,500 pinball tables, and they are loads of fun. Pinball FX2, 3, and Pinball Arcade, you will, will always be flawless. You won't experience any controller issues like you see in future pinball or visual pinball. Um, that's it. There you go, pinball.